In caring for patients with heart failure, I think it's often the patient with preserved ejection fraction and diastolic heart failure that presents the greatest problems, not only in therapy, but also in trying to figure out prognosis. Now in Jack, researchers report on a study using beta-naturetic peptide to predict outcomes in patients with and without preserved ejection fraction. They followed more than 600 patients with both types of heart failure for 18 months. BNP levels were measured at baseline and were related to the composite outcome of mortality and heart failure hospitalizations or mortality alone. I was amazed at the high rate of outcomes that were found. 42% had a primary endpoint, and I remind you the follow-up was only 18 months. 28% of the patients had died. Here's an interesting and perhaps unexpected finding. BNP was significantly higher in patients with reduced EF compared with patients with preserved ejection fraction. BNP was a predictor of outcome, but left ventricular ejection fraction was not, again, surprisingly. But importantly, if similar levels of BNP were compared across the whole spectrum of ejection fraction, the associated risk of adverse outcomes was similar in both patient groups. The bottom line, BNP levels are lower in patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction. But for a given level of BNP, the prognosis in patients with preserved ejection fraction is as poor as in patients with reduced ejection fraction. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.